All right, let's fix the James Webb telescope embroidery. And looking at this last night, I was looking at this a little bit before I started this recording. And this is probably one that I would usually scrap and start over. Got a lot of really little, just a lot of little goofs in it that just makes it chunk. But I'm not going to because. I can still salvage this and make it work with params and such. So I'm actually going to turn this into a showing you how to do things in params that might make a problem you're having better. In the, this is my stitching. And this is the preview that Inkscape gives me. The preview looks fantastic, but if you can if you can see here, I've got a lot of yellow overlapping over into the yellow, and the, the borders are not cleanly designed and or defined. And and some of that's my jump stitches. I do have to make sure I do the trim jump stitches definitely. Okay, and this. If I zoom in, you can see that my yellows, my yellow area is definitely too big. It's the yellow is overlapping the black border. So I'm going to show you how to fix a lot of this in the params. The first thing we're going to do, I do remember setting, I do remember setting a, uh, I don't remember what the word is. I'll tell you in a minute, as soon as I see it. Stretch. Is that right? No, that ain't right. Expand. I do remember setting the expand on this background, which will make my borders bigger, but I didn't make the yellow smarter, sm smarter, smaller to compensate for the border being bigger. And I made it 0 0.3. I thought I had made it 0 0.2, but it's 0 0.3. I'm going to go ahead and change that to 0 0.5. So now I'm expanding by half a millimeter. And that will actually, that will also expand outside. But that's fine. Because we got that, we got that satin stitch going around too. So I've expanded the background. Now I'm going to uh, do the opposite crank. But it, yeah, it's not called that. There is no shrink. One too many. Okay, that's all of them. So I've got all of the yellows highlighted. I'm going to go into ink stitch params. Now I've got the background expanding by half a millimeter. It's also going to expand into the yellow area so I can do the opposite on the fill for the yellow areas I'm going to do an opposite expand which is negative numbers so negative 0.5 but that doesn't take care of the underlie the underlie is still going to stay at the same size so you actually have to go into the underlie as well I don't look right and inset the inset if you change the inset positive numbers makes it smaller so we're going to change that i'm going to change that to a, to a one oh not minus 0.5 not minus 5 minus 0.5 and they were looking like little eggs. So minus five and and minus five to make it shrink and an inset of one to make it shrink also. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. And that leaves just 
the James Webb Telescope. Okay. Yeah, we can go ahead and see what it looks like up to this point. And while I'm waiting for that to load up, I want this back. For my reference. Okay. That. True. Get realistic. That's what our realistic looks like up to this point. I still got to add those cut stitches. I'm going to do that right now before I forget yet again. Uh, that one, I believe. Yes. Engine zinc stitch commands. Attach commands to selected objects. Trim after sewing this object. Okay, so I like that. I like it better where we're at so far. All right, so let's pick. Let's do this again. We're going to pick some other. Some other fonts. And I'm going to go over and under. Let's try that. It says it can be re reduced in size a little bit, so. Take it down to the 80, it says it can go. Yeah. And then we'll put that one and that one. I'm going to give that a, a cold color, like blue. Extensions, ink stitch lettering. Fico 80. I'm going to make that just a little bit smaller altogether so I can write it under. Didn't grab the whole thing. Of course not. Okay. Now, do that Lagrange point underneath it. Stitch lettering. Ink stitch, if it go 80, range 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2
1 M miles. Ooh, I was afraid of that. Anytime you're making a font smaller than it was designed to be made, you're taking a chance. Most of the time I get away with it, but you're taking a chance. Just want to throw that out there. All right, let's see what we look like. Okay. So we look good. We look really good in the preview. The last one looked pretty good in the preview too. But more of a critical eye looking at this. I don't see any yellow encroaching into the black border lines. So that's good. Very good thing. Um, one last thing I want to make a change on. If you notice... In this, I got a couple of lines, or it looked like it's missing a thread. Sometimes you can fix that just by, I'm going to click my background, I'm going to go into Extensions, Ink, Stitch, Params, changing the angle of your fill. I'm also going to increase the density a little bit, space them between rows. I'm going to take that down to 0.2. I'm going to change the angle of stitches to a 45 i'm going to go into the underlay i'm going to uh let the default let the fill angle be default but uh row spacing spaces between rows 0.2 that's going to make the underlay thicker too so i'm going to change that to uh actually want that to be pretty high Point two, it'll it'll default. I think it's three times the overlay, so it'll default to a. I set it to point two. It's going to be point six. Is my understanding. So we want to see what a one gives us. Yeah, that's not too bad. The default 0 0.25 times 3 would be a 0 0.75. So I'm actually a little bit bigger than default. A little bit further apart than default. So I think I'm going to go with that. I take my stitch count on this object from 1700 down to 1300. So I think I like that. I think I'll go with that. Uh, I believe we're ready to stitch. Wish me luck. So, this is the stitch out. Looks so much better. That looks a whole lot better than it did. I'm pretty happy with that. So that goes to show you, you can take something that didn't stitch out very well and just do a little bit to it and get it to come out better. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, sweetie said she's thinking about cutting it out and putting it into a picture frame, giving it to her daddy. So, anyway, that will conclude the James Webb Telescope. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.